Have you been keeping an eye on Levine as your potential new home? With so much information out there, let's focus on the data and the real estate trends of Levine so that you can feel confident in your decision and your next home purchase. Make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing some Levine data that is only available to realtors and not available to the general public. If we haven't met before, hi, my name is Stephanie Hernandez. To begin this video, let's start with where Levine is located. Here's the neighborhood of Levine and it is about 10 miles away from downtown Phoenix. North of Levine is the West Phoenix area and here is the I-10 freeway. West of Levine is the 202 freeway and then the city of Tolleson and Avondale. South of Levine is the Gila River Indian Reservation. East of Levine is the South Mountain Phoenix area. Now that we understand the surroundings of Levine, let's begin talking about its current market trends. Levine has a competitive market for pre-existing homes and there is also a growing market of new build development. One of the first questions you should ask yourself when searching for a home is, do you want a resale home, meaning it is an existing home, or do you want a new construction, never lived in home? This is an important question to ask yourself to help narrow down your search. And also Levine is one of the rare neighborhoods in Phoenix where you do have the option for either a new built home or an existing home. In Levine, you'll have different housing options. You'll find starter homes, but you can also find more established neighborhoods with much larger homes. For example, there are multiple new development projects underway along the west corridor of the 202 freeway. These new developments will include over 500 homes. Some of these homes have already been sold. Some of them are ready now and ready to go. And some are still in the process of being constructed. Most builders are expected to be completed by late 2024. And bonus, new construction homes are one of my areas of specialties. I keep a close eye on new builds as new properties are becoming increasingly rare. If you're thinking you'd rather buy a resale home, that's a great option too. Keep in mind, if you're looking for a ranch home with an acre lot, they are available in Levine, but they are starting to become more and more rare to find. Most Levine homeowners who own large lots, who own ranch style homes, will keep that real estate within the family and typically pass it down to the next generation to retain the prized property size. Which makes a lot of sense, right? These homeowners understand how limited and scarce the land is. We can't create any more of it, so it's important to buy and own your own home if you have the chance. Now that we have a general understanding of Levine, let's review the data. If you're wondering whether buying in Levine would be a good investment and want to know the potential appreciation your home may have, we really need to look at the past year's data because that's all we know that is concrete and fact. In the year 2019, the median sales price was 259,000. In a one year span, on average, the home values increased by 13%. So in year 2020, the median sales price was 295,000. And that year, real estate was insane. On average, home values increased by 36%. For the year 2021, the median sales price was 402,589. So as you can see, there was a huge jump there. And the following year, the home values increased by around 14%. And in year 2022, the median sales price was 460,000. In simple terms, the prices and home values of Levine have significantly increased over the past few years. The average rate of appreciation in Levine has been consistent with Arizona and national averages. However, in 2020, Levine's appreciation exceeded national averages. Additionally, the number of home sales has also increased. This surge in home sales is directly linked with the construction and creation of new homes in Levine. Now you'll notice earlier, I didn't include the year 2023, and that's because at the time of this recording, this year is not over yet, so I don't wanna skew the data. However, let's review what's been going on this year at the time of this recording, which is October of 2023. There is a total of 142 active listings. That's 64 less from last year, which is accurate because we have a short supply of active listings. 
the average active days on market is 66 days. Last year, homes were selling a lot quicker and only active on the market for 43 days. The median monthly sales price is 436,285 which is very similar to the sales price in October of 2021 and 2022. The Cromford Index scores pull data from active listings and compare them to historical data from the previous four years. The Cromford Supply Index is 59, and because it is a value less than 100, it means that we have less supply than usual, which again is accurate because we have a short number of active listings. The Cromford Demand Index is 116, and any value over 100 indicates that we have more demand than usual, which is accurate because there are many buyers who want to be purchasing right now. The Cromford Market Index is 196. The value is over 100, which means we are in a seller's market. The real estate market is always changing, so depending on when you watch this video, it might not be the year 2023 anymore. The market data we just reviewed is not free and you can't get it anywhere else because it's not general public information. But since you watched this video, send me a message and I can send you an updated and current version from the time you are watching this video. So we've discussed the past and current trends of the Levine real estate market, but now let's focus on its future direction. While I cannot 100% predict the future, here are some exciting projects happening in Levine that I think will have a significant impact on home values and contribute to a positive market outlook. Coming to Levine is the Levine Town Center, a 400,000 square foot retail space centered around the historical Hudson Farmhouse. This is a $130 million project that will house entertainment venues, restaurants, specialty shops, and serve as a public gathering space with amenities for the community. Other big franchises are coming to town, including Harkins Theaters. This will be the first movie theater in Levine. In early 2024, you can expect the opening of EOS Fitness Gym, In-N-Out Burgers, and Raising Cane's Chicken at the Levine's Spectrum Plaza. With the construction of more and more homes and the increase of residents moving into Levine, there are plans to create the State Route 30. This would be a new freeway that will connect the Loop 303 to the Loop 202. It is a critical infrastructure project for the West Valley as it aims to ease traffic congestion and divert traffic away from the I-10. State Route 30, also known as Tres Rios Freeway, will be divided into three segments and it is expected to take approximately 20 years to complete. If you are determined to purchase this year, but you wanna make a confident decision, I am here to support you and provide you with any data and expertise to support your choice. Let's schedule a discovery call where we can discuss your needs and address any questions you may have. You've done the research. Now it's time to take the first step towards finding your dream home. If you wanna know what kind of new builds are available in Levine, Check out this next video where we tour the best new construction communities in Levine. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.